also have mentioned that lab one is about uh, implementing um, the algorithm uh, called Leng Aurotarian algorithm for dominance analysis, the, the algorithm published in 1979. Okay, so the second lab is about translation to SSA form. SSA form is the most commonly used way to represent or to store a function and its instructions in an optimizing compiler. It's used uh, by GCC, LLVM, and many other compilers. What is uh, uh, interesting here is that there can only be one uh, assignment to a uh, variable. That means in the sequence of instructions. If this assignment is in a loop, then of course it can be executed multiple times. But statically, if we look at the sequence of instructions, there can only be one. And this uh, instruction uh, must dominate, uh, or must, it, it does dominate all the uses of this value. Uh, that means it's essentially a functional program that we create in some sense. Uh, SSA form is useful for two uh, unrelated things. First of all, it's elegant and makes it possible to make efficient uh, optimization algorithms. And secondly, it helps you to understand optimizing compilers much better. It's a, it's a very useful tool to reason about optimizations. This was um, developed uh, under several years uh, at the, by researchers at the IBM in uh, Yorktown Heights. Uh, well, one, one problem uh, with this is that if there are multiple assignments to a certain variable, what should we do when uh, this uh, uh, assignment, when, when the code joins? Let me see, let me show an example. So here we have, ignore the subscripts. Uh, so here we have an assignment to A, and here we have another assignment to A. And so what we do here is that we, we uh, create a new variable for each assignment to A. So this we call uh, A0, here is another assignment, so we call it, I mean we can call it anything, but we call it A1. And then we, we from this point, we ignore A0. Uh, so here we use A1, but here ha we have a problem, namely that uh, the uh, path from the assignment to A1 and the assignment to A0 they join here, and the question is which variable should we use then? What is done is to have an operator called a phi function, which creates a new version of uh, A. Okay, so what we do is uh, to put this uh, operator here, or function, and it uh, has a parameter list with one parameter for each predecessor in the control flow graph, and if we come from this one, then we use the value a0, which we can see here, and in the second one we uh, use a1. And from then on we use a2. What we can see here is that the, uh, an assigned variable dominates all its uses. So the second lab is about implementing this algorithm and it uses dominance analysis in a very fascinating way. It took actually um, not so much time to understand that this is what we wanted in optimizing compilers, but it took several years to figure out an efficient algorithm to place the fee functions. It's easy to place fee functions to make this correct. Basically, just put a fee function whenever two uh, uh, branches join in one basic block, but that will require a lot of memory. And, and it becomes uh, extremely inefficient. 
So where should we place the three functions? You will see a very, very beautiful algorithm, which does exactly that, which is built on, on um, dominance analysis. But not in this lecture, but you have to wait. Okay, so what we do is to um, uh, insert these three functions and well, as, as I mentioned, um, the fee function is also an assignment and it uh, dominates all the uses of this new value. So what can we do with it? If we have this function, which I have for convenience already translated to SSA form. Uh, so we have x0 and now we have a copy from x0 to y0. And then we use y0. Um, can we with, uh, replace this and remove y0 and just use x0 here? Or do we have to check what happens in this if statement? Uh, there are two problems. One is that x0 got a new value and the other that y0 got a new value but they can't because there is only one assignment to each variable so um, they must have the same value as they got when they were assigned uh, and therefore we can use uh, x0 instead of y0. This is a trivial example of why we can have use for SSA form. 